For two weeks straight I worked on getting to the toilet on time, and I made it, with only a few close calls. But those were all in the first week, the second was accident-free. I was also being treated as more of an adult, opposed to a little kid. I rarely used baby things anymore, like bottles, or being bathed by Angela, which I was a few times. Although, it always seemed when I was having a tough time, being fed by a bottle, or some cuddle time helped to calm me down. In ways I was becoming a young adult. Living with Angela and Adam seemed like a whole new adventure for me, I went through rough times, and grew up a lot. I knew though, going to school tomorrow would be the beginning of the rest of my life. With dad dying it seemed like I couldn't live without him, like I would never have a normal life again, but I was. I couldn't wait to see my friends, or my teachers. I wanted to be normal again. The toilet flushed and I walked out of the bathroom. Hey mom. I said to Angela, who was sitting at the dining room table, doing some work, because she was going back the week after I started school, which was tomorrow. Hey Lacey, all ready for tomorrow? She asked me. Almost, I replied, just have to get my school supplies ready. Okay go do that then, she said. I walked up the stairs to my room and sat on my bed. I always loved shopping for school supplies, one of my favorite things. I took all my pens, pencils, erasers, white out and art supplies and put them in the right cases. I unzipped my new five-star binder and put some things in there too. I opened up a fresh pack of paper and took in a whiff, I loved the smell, it smelt fresh. I used to always get my school supplies ready with my dad, and right now, this reminded me of him. I can still hear him saying. Come on now, you know you can't put your red pens next to your black ones. I chuckled and continued putting things where they belong. Once everything was done I put it in my new backpack and went downstairs. Okay I'm ready to go, I said to Angela. Okay then, let's go, get your shoes on, was her reply as she got up from the table and walked to the front door. We both slipped our shoes on and went out to the car. Once we were buckled in Angela started the engine and we drove down the street. I looked out the window and watched all the trees pass me by. They were pretty, some with pink buds, others with big leaves. I saw a squirrel run up one of them to his family. Probably the dad squirrel, bringing back dinner, I giggled. What's so funny? She said with a smirk. Oh nothing, I said back, still smiling to myself. We finally came to a big stretch of land, with a black iron fence enclosing it. We pulled up to the gates and drove through the winding grey cemented road, until, finally, we came upon my dad's tombstone. I'll wait here, okay? Angela said to me. Okay, I said getting out of the car and walking over, first remembering to grab the bunch of roses that were sitting between us.